For this video presentation, I'm going to discuss the auto date memory system that you will find on nearly almost all of the main screens within Easy As. Now, I'm just going to show you it existing on the expense screen because it's the same format. Each screen has a similar format. If I click on expenses, if we look up the top left hand corner, we see our dates area. Now, looking at it, you might think, oh, yeah, that's simple enough. You enter dates and it's going to present all the dates between that period. But it has a unique feature, guys. It can remember what you did last. So when you re-enter the screen next time, you only see what it was you used last time. And the unique ability that is, is so you get, say, halfway through a year, you might have two or three hundred entries in here. You don't want to be seeing two or three hundred entries on the screen, scrolling down, looking for stuff. You might want to just open the screen each time and only see the last month's worth of entries or the last week's worth of entries, whatever it is suitable for your business. Okay, so if we look at it in a simplistic format, we see we have our period here. Currently, the system is viewing all entries from the 1st of the 1st to the 31st of the 12th this year. If I change that and I say I wanted to view all entries after, I don't know, let's say, the 7th of the 7th. Now I'm only seeing entries from the 7th of July onwards. Obviously you see, we're not in September yet, but you see there's a couple of entries there for September. I've just, this is just a dummy setup. That's basic enough. Now if I exit that page and come back in again, I'm going to see all the entries reappear. That's because I did not turn on the auto numbering system or the auto date system. See this little icon here next to the view icon? If I click that and turn it on, it puts a little green dot there. Now next time I exit and come back in, that green dot's going to be there. It tells me that that auto date memory system is switched on. Now look what happens if I change this. If I change this and say I want to see all entries from the 6th of the 6th onwards only when I open the screen, it now presents to me all entries after the 6th of the 6th. Now if I exit and come back in again, it's remembered that. So it's going to remember that for this screen only, just for the expenses screen. Each screen has its own. And you can have a different date for each screen depending upon whatever it is you're doing with it. See that? New screen, different dates. So you, And it's not switched on. So you can switch it on on every screen. has its own ability to remember dates. Now it also has a couple other unique little methods of using it. And there's the invoice one. It's in the middle there. Okay, I'm going to go back to the expenses. And I want to show you something. The thing to remember is if you're looking for a certain entry each time you change this date if I now changed it to the 8th of the 8th whilst that is switched on naturally it's going to remember that new date so once I exit and come back in again it's remembered the new date because I left it switched on so let's say I don't want it to remember these dates I only want it to remember the initial first date so I'm going to change that back to the 6th of the 6th I only wanted the 6th of the 6th but right now I'm looking for something. If I switch it off temporarily, look what happens the moment I switch it off. The moment I switch that off, it then returns the whole year. See that? The moment you switch it off, you see every entry on the screen. Now I can play with this to my heart's content now, and it's not going to remember it. The moment I switch it back on, or sorry, I'll prove that it didn't remember it. I go out and I come back in. It hasn't remembered it. The moment I switch it back on, it remembers the previous date I had set and it brings those entries back. So as you see, you can switch it on and off and switch it off. So I can make use out of that. Switch it off, I see all the entries. Switch it back on, I see only the entries after this period. So that's how that auto date memory system works. It's really unique. I now use it exclusively on all my screens and I usually only see the last month. I don't need to see anything else. Obviously, it's awesome for the quote screen or the invoice screen because you can set that to whatever the most outstanding invoice is. So you only want to see invoices past that date. And quotes for the similar, similar sort of function. That's how I use it anyway. 
Okay, that's all I needed to talk about for the auto-date memory system.